A little over a year ago, I made a video about Truck World Australia, a game that initially had a lot of traction and fans from the truck sim community excited to see what this game was going to bring. And for those of you who have yet to hear about this game, let me give you a quick overview. So Truck World Australia is a truck sim game based off of truckers in Australia, but took things that we know and love from America and a Euro truck simulator to a whole new level with simple features of being able to walk around your truck, manually having to connect your truck to a trailer, lift the trailer stand and attached straps and things of that nature. Now, one of the reasons why I was personally excited about this game was for the fact that I was a fan of Outback Truckers, where if you've ever seen the show, you see the kind of environment that they have to drive through compared to what we see here in the US and UK. So of course, Truck World Australia is hopefully going to do the same where you'll be carrying multiple trailers and hauling loads across rough terrain, but when we'll be able to see that, I have no idea. So that leads to the question of what happened to Truck World Australia. This is something that I keep coming back to every few months to see if anything new has come out and each time I'm left with the same answers of having nothing to go off of. Of course this isn't necessarily a bad thing because the game could come out tomorrow and for all we know could still potentially have a successful launch but the longer we go off of not knowing anything the more likely the community fades and as we've seen this past year with the excitement around this game fairly much dying. Now there are a lot of things that the devs could do to keep excitement up such as sharing a few photos here and there of the game itself on social media or adding a roadmap and nothing of that nature even with as simple as it sounds has been done yet and I want to stress as well that I don't mean any of this to be in a negative way but more or less as a community that was given a trailer and a somewhat of an early access to the game we deserve a little more than what we've received as far as information. With a game the size of Truck World Australia and what I mean by that is a game that doesn't have the biggest following there should be no shortage of devs communicating feedback and sharing information to the community to promote the game even more and really more or less to be like hey yes we're still actively working on the game so what are a few things that i think we should see here before too much longer the biggest being a roadmap having a roadmap is a simple way of saying we expect to have these certain features done and ready to go around this certain date and not only does it provide an active community but also brings more attention to the game which of course is what the developers want Besides Besides the roadmap, we should see some sort of feedback from devs on Twitter, which if you haven't checked their latest tweet, it is from April of this year. But the whole point that I'm trying to make is it's hard to make the selling point of here's my game so buy it, when as of now, when that happens, there won't be much of a community around to see the tweet or even see the notification from Steam that the game is available when most of the community has forgotten about you to begin with. Games like American and Euro Truck Sim are the biggest sim games in the community and to offer more sim features than those two games currently offer is a chance to change the driving sim community and to not take advantage of that is a shame to see which is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. So Truck World Australia if by the off chance you come across this video and have watched it to this point do the community a big one and start marketing the game a little bit and remind us why we were interested in the game to begin with. Now I know it's being somewhat of a hypocrite to say these things and not say what I would do so here's my advice of what I would try to do to grow the community around this game. First is a roadmap and I know that I've mentioned that a few times but I would have a roadmap up on Steam as soon as possible being that many people even if they have forgotten are still on the wish list of this game. Show some sort of progress on the roadmap with where the game is right now, what the current project is and more importantly the time frame to when we can see an early access. Now on top of the roadmap an updated video on the Truck World Australia YouTube channel is a must considering that the gameplay overview video gained over 400,000 views. So it's time to show where the game is, where you want the game to go, and share it to the YouTube community which is where mostly everyone following this game has originally heard about it. And lastly, once you're starting to get closer to a finished product, the bigger sim YouTubers such as Jeff Fabiano and Squirrel should have the game at least a week early to be able to create some sort of content around it to share and get attention back around the game. Because I strongly believe that once some gameplay is shown for this game showing the terrain and the features that they have added that half of the sim community would transition to truck world at least for a while now truck world is still a game that i'm excited for and you can bet i'll be playing it when and if we ever get to the release and personally i would enjoy some sort of progression mode but we'll leave that for another time now, if you've enjoyed this video and have some sort of feedback for me whether some details i might have missed be sure to let me know down in the comments but until the next one i hope you all have a wonderful and safe day see ya